Summertime and uh, pop music, and what, we'll see what else. Yeah. Maybe show we'll, see where, we'll see where it goes. We'll see where it goes. <laughs> a little bit of Broadway is always good. Well, little... here we are. On, you can actually see Times Square right there behind us. I think this will probably be my last interview here on the roof. Wow. Um, you, we've had some other greats up here. We've I feel Chris honored. Carr was my last one I did, so I'm really happy to share my roof deck with you. Yay. And say goodbye to it. Well, thanks for having me up here. It's beautiful. Yeah, you're welcome. Nice day. So, you are... Um, a yogi, yogi extraordinaire. Thank you. And I actually had the pleasure of going to one of Will's classes in Vancouver, and he actually sings during class, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. And what's your background that got you into that? Um, well, I actually studied musical theater in New York uh -huh. um, when I was like 17, 18, and we had to do yoga as part of the curriculum oh, to sort cool. of ground ourselves and center ourselves before we went on stage. Mm -hmm. And we actually did a form of yoga where you start to shake, your whole body shakes. And some of the people I remember in the classroom were like, what are we doing? This is weird. But I was like, this is fun. It makes me feel grounded. It makes me feel relaxed. Woo! Oh She's having a miracle. <laughs> Turning into an That's okay, thing. because yeah. the screen can only see my face. Perfect. Great. Right. Yeah, yeah, so you know. Wow. It was, it was What's good. Called, what kind of yoga is shaking yoga? It's, it's called tremoring, and it's, I think it's specific to New York, like the acting community in New York. Okay. It's yeah, sounds... so it's kind of like you shake... You're doing, you're in plow pose, uh -huh. I just, whoops, okay. <laughs> and you kind of go, ah, uh, and it's just cool. very relaxing. Yeah. Yeah. One of the things that I love that Will uses in his class is a lot of sound, mm -hmm. and I just found that so helpful to get deeper into the poses yeah. and to be more present. Yeah. I want it to be sort of participatory. Mm -hmm. I don't like it when, like, I go to a class and I'm not allowed to interact at all with the teacher. I mean, I come from the theater world, and I like that. Yeah. It is, in a way, a performance, and for me, the most honest performances most authentic ones aren't performances. Right. You know, exactly. it's just coming from like another source and it's flowing through the person, whether yeah. they're an actor, a singer, a dancer, yeah. or a yoga teacher. And do you always, I always ask this of yoga teachers because I'm, I'm like a faux yoga instructor. Are I, you a yoga teacher too? I did, yeah, I did I a 300 hour training, but oh. I just never really, right. like, I can't belt, commit to showing up everywhere. <laughs> like every, on the same place. Everywhere. Yeah, I know. However, I could teach right now. But um, I am wondering, do you plan quite a bit the sequencing in your classes, or are you a free spirit when it comes to I kind of like to leave a lot up to just the moment and uh -huh. see, sort of suss out the group that I'm teaching and what they need and what I need. It's yeah. kind of like a co-collaboration. Nice. Um, I teach a lot of hot yoga, so there is a sequence, right. but I don't like to keep it completely rigid each uh -huh. time. I like to change it up a bit. You know, cool. Variety. Variety is the Albert Einstein variety. says, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting different results. Right. So I like to change it up. Yeah. And how are you changing it up in your own life? Like off the map? Um, I think that I'm taking more risks than I used to take. I think that I'm realizing through yoga that any sense of fear and insecurity isn't me. It's just brainwashing from society. You know, especially like if you're gay or if you're a yeah. woman yeah. or a person of size or a person of color, yeah. it's not actually you. So anytime I bump up against that shame or, oh, I'm not good enough, mm -hmm. I just go, you know what? That's billions of dollars of advertising. That's the high school bullies. That's not me. Yeah. So um, I owe it to my my fans and my students mm -hmm. who are also troubled in that way where we kind of, because like attracts like, right? Yeah. So I have a lot of students who are like, oh, you know, I, I don't feel like I'm good enough. I don't measure up. Yeah. So I owe it to them to lead by example and yeah. play bigger. Welcome you know? to humanity. Like, we, we go. All I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I don't... Sometimes I feel like enough. Some days not so much. Yeah, so. it kind of goes up and down. But yoga <laughs> says that your feelings aren't you. Yeah. You're something more, like, grounded. You're the loving right. awareness around your thought patterns right. and your feelings. Right. So, you know, I think in order to, to um, have success, however you define success, yeah. you have to just do what you know is right, even when you don't feel like it. <laughs> really <laughs> giving your boyfriend That's on the good. side of show. I'm sorry. That's good. There's a surprise that everybody can do. No, we won't go no, there, we won't go there and today. See. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I know you're excited about a couple of things that you have coming yeah. up. Um, so tell me about that. I'm uh, releasing an international version of the album I released by myself. Last year I got a record deal with Sarah McLaughlin's label, oh Network Records. That's so exciting. Crazy. Um, it's a childhood dream come true for sure. Yeah. And um, so it's going to come out in Virgin, HMV. Um, record stores all over the world, uh -huh. and online, yes, iTunes and, and Amazon. of course on iTunes. And yeah. on my website, willblunderfield.com. Uh -huh. Blunder okay. like a mistake, field like a field of grass. Okay, good, and I'll make sure that goes awesome. at the end, so <laughs> just in case. Awesome, there you go, just in case they didn't get that. Uh-huh, and do you know, did, can you say the album title yet? Yeah, it's called it? Hallelujah. Oh, 
you know, it's, and that's the name of, it's sort of a remixed and remastered version of my first mm -hmm. album. It's got a few duets which are added to it. Um, I don't know if you know the singer Biff Naked. No. She's a Canadian sort of punk rock. Is that her real name? Yeah, Biff Naked. Biff Naked. No, that's actually that not her real name. Her that's her stage name. That's kind of amazing. But, <laughs> yeah, it's a good name. It's, it's a, a good really name. good name. And she's real into yoga. Is she a she's, Canadian? She's a Canadian. She, um... All she the was, best stuff comes from oh, Canada, by the way. You're sweet. I really just have to say, I love Canadians, just Thank to you. make a gross generalization. Well, I love Americans. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Especially ones now from that Maine You're never going to hear that. <laughs> See, I consider myself being from Maine an, an honorary Canadian. I okay. don't know if that's offensive to you, but um, no, because I like that. it's like right up there in I'll the same that. latitude, I sort yeah, of like think that we are enclosed in Canada in a way. I like that. You're like a small sea Canadian. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I like was, that. Yeah. And you're a big singer. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so if people yeah. want to come see you sing or come to your classes, yes. tell them how they can find you. Um, well, I teach regular classes out of Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to be touring the world, starting in a California. World a world tour. Cool. Starting in California um, in October. Sort of mid October, we're going to do like a 10 day situation going from Sacramento down to LA. Uh -huh. And. Um, yeah, and then over to the eastern seaboard side, oh, nice. and then hopefully Australia. Wow, yeah, that so I'm is really, really I'm really exciting. excited. And then sometimes, you know, you hear that voice inside your head, who am I to be doing all this? You're you. You know, and then I, I actually included a poem in one of my songs, Long Time Sun, on the album, and it's something that I say to myself. Anytime I'm like, who am I to be playing this big, you know? Who are you not to be? Yeah. Your playing small does not serve the world. No, there is not. nothing enlightened about shrinking so other people won't feel insecure around you. And I tell my students that one of the best things you could do for the world is break your habit of playing small. And I used to play small all the time. Right? It was always like, oh, okay, I shouldn't do that. You know, who am I to think that? I mean, it's fairly obvious how you're playing big right now with a major record deal and a world tour. I'm lucky. Um, but just for a little contrast, can you take me back to a time when you weren't playing so big and what that looked like? Totally. Um, I think when I was, I mean, at acting school in New York, I. I I was this big fish in this little pond up in Vancouver, yeah. and then when you move to New York, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of guys exactly like you with the same talent and the same thing. There's nobody exactly like you. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Not but you know possible. what I mean. I do. But you're yeah, at, you're at like a, a cattle call audition, and, right. and then you get to the final two for the part of Gaston on the Disney Cruise mm -hmm. Line, and they say, oh, you're just a little too this or a little too that, you know? Right. So it, 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 I think I was, I let the negativity get to me when I was... Yeah. You know, auditioning, I was about 18, 19 yeah. at that point, and I was kind of like, oh, you know, I just don't know what's going to work out. And that's why yoga was so helpful when I discovered yoga and really got into it, because the message of yoga is follow your heart. Yeah. There's a new uh, style of yoga called Anusara, mm -hmm. which means follow your heart. And I like to incorporate that philosophy into the class. Yoga is about getting out of your way so that you can play bigger, mm -hmm. you know? And it, it makes you feel good. Yeah. It makes you feel... Your, your mom was talking about at her... Um, her discussion at the Queen Elizabeth Theatre in Vancouver, she was talking about nitric oxide, which is like prana, right. chi, um, not nitrous oxide like the dentist gives you, it's not laughing gas, but it's kind of like which that. also is fun. It's, it can be fun too, but you know. But not as sustainable. Not as sustainable. As nitric oxide. Nitric oxide. Um, and she was saying that whenever you're appreciating beauty, whenever you're doing exercise, when you're looking at a beautiful sunset, when you're admiring somebody else's beauty. <laughs> Yeah, the, the prana gets released into your bloodstream, and because of law of attraction, the more you bring yourself into that surreal place of, it's okay, I'm okay, I'm enough, right, I'm feeling right. good, I'm appreciating the good, um, you attract more into your life, obviously, right? Yeah. Um, so when I started to realize that, my life got a lot more, um, I mean, it's not perfect by any means, but it got a lot more flowing, you know? Right. Things are flowing, more, yeah. and that feels good. And what do you love about your life? Um, I love the fact that I get to live out a, a dream I've had since I was a little kid, and, and it, I feel like I've been working for the last like 15 years of my life to get to a place where I have a record deal, and I get to do interviews, and I get to travel, and, and it's, you know, I, I get up every morning and go, you know, you've gotten it, now it's time to work for it. You've got to, you've got to put, put 110% into mm -hmm. it, so it's, it's fun. I'm sure you know about that with your tour and everything that you're doing. I and you're do. passionate about something. Yeah. You yeah. gotta go for it. You gotta go for it, and it just changes every day. It does, and it's almost like it is work, but you're resting in the work because mm -hmm. because you you're know that it's what you're work. put here I to love do. That. You're resting in the work. That's good. And last <laughs> question: um, What are you afraid of that you're doing anyway? Um, you know, 
I used to be so afraid of people. I, really? I was diagnosed with a, 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 it was called generalized anxiety disorder. And there was a period when I couldn't even leave my house in university. Oh. I got back from New York. I was kind of a little bit, uh -huh. you know, in that kind of state yeah. from all the auditions and you know? Yeah, yeah. And um, there was a point when I couldn't leave the house and I was scared of people, but I was really scared of myself. Yeah. And um, again, it's the yoga when you feel more relaxed in your body. And I've learned if you can just hold your shoulders back and smile at people and just remind yourself that you're doing everything to spread more love, yeah. then the anxiety goes down. Yeah. And the depression goes down. And you're just like, I'm just doing my best. Isn't that amazing? I mean, you just never know who's walking around the planet overcoming major things because Will happens to be one of the friendliest people I've ever met. Oh, so to think that at one point you were afraid of people is kind of amazing. So congratulations on getting over that. <laughs> Thank and you. I'm sure I'm sure that. it's something you have to work on every, it every is, day. And, but. Yeah it is and it's it's um it just anytime I forget to like breathe, anytime I forget to feel good about myself, mm -hmm. I remind myself that I'm doing it for my students. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm leading by example. Right. And a lot of my students are fairly troubled as I'm I to some degree. That's how I choose. I don't choose to shy away from that. I choose to be open about that. And ever since I have been open about it, I've got a waiting list for my classes and they're packed. And I, I just think there's something to be said about um, being honest. And it's hard at first because you're like, oh, I hope people aren't judging me. But you know what? The truth is, I've judged myself for everything somebody else would be judging me for and more. Of course. Of course. And I've already chosen not to buy into it. Yeah. So it's a daily commitment to not buy into the, the shame and live inside your possibilities. Right. It was so fun having you there. Right, right. I think you should wear that dress. I really? And we'll get, wow. we'll get, I don't know if you can see this. You can't, no. <laughs> I think you got to see this. This it's is this, really, look at it's, that. It's a pretty dress, so but it's going everywhere. That's awesome. Okay. And then Joe's just chilling there. It's fun. Yeah. So, anyway. um, put that back up here and come give me a hug. Awesome. Thank you for coming on Quest I love TV. You. I love you too. Bye. You. <laughs> You're so totally, bad. it's so classic. It's like Marilyn Monroe. <laughs>